We need to talk about something very important. South Africa filed a legal case against Israel at the International Court of Justice accusing Israel of genocide. Genocide is a word that was created by a Polish Jewish lawyer named Raphael Lemkin in 1944. It's a fusion of two words, genus in Greek, which means race or tribe, and side in Latin, meaning killing. So genocide means the killing of a race. Lemkin developed the term to describe the Nazis' systematic killing of Jews in the Holocaust. In 1948, the word was codified as an independent crime in the Genocide Convention, which Israel was obviously one of the first countries to sign on to. Now here's the irony. The term genocide, which was created to describe the largest killing of Jews in the 20th century, is now being used against the Jewish state during the largest killing of Jews in the 21st century. The filing claims that Israel is committing a genocide and doing so with deliberate intent, plotting on just how to eradicate the Palestinian people. Again, a shocking allegation. So first, the Israeli Declaration of Independence says the following, we extend our hand to all neighboring states and Arabs living in Israel and their people in an offer of peace and good neighborhoodliness. On the other hand, Hamas's charter states that the day of judgment will not come about until Muslims fight Jews and kill them. Hamas did that on October 7th and says plainly that they will do it again and again. So who's intending to genocide here? It's not Israel, it's Hamas. In addition to that, in order to prove these insane allegations of genocide with intent, South Africa uses hyperbolic quotes from ministers, some with no decision-making power and zero influence, and celebrities giving interviews to entertainment publications. Yeah, they're actually using that in their court filing. In the filing, South Africa presents a narrative that starts on October 8th. Yeah, the 84-page brief essentially ignores the barbaric massacre of October 7th in which Hamas invaded Israel, started a war by committing a medieval-level war crimes against Israelis, which include murder, rape, beheading, burning alive, and kidnapping. Israel's not committing a genocide. Israel was dragged into a war. Let me be clear. If following the hearing this week, the court calls for Israel to stop the operation in Gaza, they will effectively hand out a victory to Hamas. This international charade has to stop. It has to. Israel is up against an impossible dilemma here. Fighting against a jihadi enemy on the ground who's attacking Israelis and then retreating into civilian Palestinian population. And when Israel defends herself, her actions are criminalized in international courts. And instead of the world standing up against this jihadi psychosis, countries like Iran and South Africa go after Israel, forcing her not only to defend herself from rockets from the South and from the North, but in court too. This is not a war between Israel and the Palestinian people. This is a war between Israel and Hamas, a genocidal terrorist organization which has stated its goal of eradicating Jews from the world, a stated goal of committing a genocide. Hamas is the one who turned Gaza into a war zone, using every single resource it was given, financial or other, to create an underground terror world instead of a flourishing Gaza for the Palestinian people. The International Court of Justice should not only not issue a judgment to call for Israel to stop its activities, but this shameful case should be dismissed and thrown out in its entirety. And the world should unite against jihadism and for a stable Middle East for Jews, for Christians, and for Muslims alike.